21st of December 2018, Friday. This is a 12 year old Schnauzer Cross Chuck Russell. This one is uh, how many years old? 12 years old. Sterilized? Yes. Okay. So, today, what is your complaint today? Not your complaint. Today, what, what is your worry? It's not my worry. The today, today, I mean. The owner. Which one? And then her eye. No, which one I don't know. Okay, the owner is worried about this wound, which has not healed. Uh. Mm. Huh? It has not healed. You can see that it's still there. Since October, I think. Uh, since October, so it's two months already. Okay, now, this this wound, in most dogs, uh, is called the oronasal fistula. You hold on to the dog. Mm, yes. I will show by this diagram. Now, this illustration here. Now, it's a very common in old dogs with the dental problems. Uh. Now, this, the, the name actually, there's another name, like Carnesa Tooth Abscess. It's called abscess because here there's the roots, uh, the root of the tooth, uh, the Carnesa Tooth. Carnesa Tooth is one of the biggest tooth there. Uh. In, in the dog, it's a cheek tooth. Uh. And this tooth, this is the crown. So, so inside is the root. Uh. It's just a tree, uh, the roots inside. Now there are three roots. Okay, now here is, is clearer. There are three roots, uh, one, then inside here, the two, uh, all together three roots. Now in this dog, most likely only one root is, is uh, loose or uh, infected. So, so because this, this, these uh, roots are very near to the, to the surface uh, of the skin. So, of course, the abscess will break through, the bacteria break through, and you will see a wound uh, which never heals. It never heals despite antibiotics. You can give antibiotics and then after a while it comes back again. So this one is quite a diagnostic of carnasal tooth abscess. Now, there, there is an x-ray if you want. We can x-ray to see which, which uh, root is affected now. Uh, there is one possibility. The other possibility of course is to go in and, and a probe, uh, do a probe, see which of the three roots uh, are, are loose. Uh, uh. Then, uh, then, uh, of course, just go in and normally you section it into two parts. So you remove one part first with one root, the other part with two roots. Uh, and uh, that is the extraction part. Uh. Now, what happens if you don't do it? If you don't do it, then you keep on seeing this uh, non healing wound. It's because called. The bacteria is inside. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, and uh, it's called oral, it's called a fistula. Fistula is an opening between the skin and the mucous membrane. In this case, the mucous membrane is the gum or the inside the, the mouth, or not. The, the mouth mucous membrane and the skin. So it's called a fistula. Okay, so the whole thing is called oro. Oro means mouth, nasal, nose. Mouth and nose, fistula. Oro, nasal, fistula. And, uh, but the most common name is carnasal tooth abscess. Quite easy to, for the layman to understand. Okay, so I explained this already. So if you're gonna take the X-ray or do the extract, hmm. you're gonna have to sedate her, right? Either way. Yeah, yeah. X-ray no need about X, but but the thing we roughly we know what it is. Now wait, let me just check the dog in front of the video. Now let's see. Yeah. Uh. Now because the dog has been on antibiotics for quite two months, right? right? Mm. Is it two months? October, that one finished the course already, then that one is recently, uh, okay. end November. So did the wound close up? No, it's still a bit open. Oh, it didn't close up. Huh? Yeah, okay, now I'll open the mouth and see the carnation tooth now, wait. Where you hold the, hold the shoulder. Uh. Now it's painful, that's why the dog okay, doesn't, okay. doesn't like people to touch the mouth. And I don't blame him, lucky he didn't bite me. Now this one is a different finding. Huh? Uh, that one is apulis, apulis they call it. Apulis basically is a gum tumor. Gum tumor means it, it grows from the gum. Has, but sometimes it might be cancerous and then it goes into the bone, the jaw. That's why the, the other vet says that you have to remove part of the jaw to remove the whole thing completely. But from what I see, from what I see, uh, it's, it's possible to remove probably 90% and then uh, at least the dog can uh, use this canine tooth uh, to eat. It's still strong, uh, the canine tooth. Yeah, no, just remove. This is a gum tumor. Now, how long has it been going here? How long has yeah, it been no, there? Many years. 
many years that means it's not it's not likely to be cancerous uh, if it's cancerous then uh, hmm, why? or pleasure the what? the tongue purple yeah, yeah. okay this is this stuff a little worried yeah. okay now now you can see the roots are actually exposed huh? so this this fellow actually the, the, the root is not of this condenser tooth huh? it's no more normal you see normally you can see the you cannot see the roots okay anyway it's painful so I'm just trying to show that there you see the roots are there exposed maybe normally the roots cannot be seen now uh, but now the roots are uh, can be seen? yeah okay it's painful so so the owner has to decide whether to have the surgery done to go in and uh, go in and remove the this tooth huh? it's not loose huh? it's not loose it's but it's painful yeah oh, huh? too, too much bacteria there are three pasta. three roots uh, three roots inside uh, three roots inside so this is the second opinion for you right? uh, the first opinion is of course I, I don't know what given antibiotics right yeah, I and not to do anything because they find that it's quite quite solid at the roots. Now, um, would it be risky if she does? Of course, there's always a risk in old dogs. Uh. Anesthetic, yeah. you mean? Was it done anesthetic early on? Yeah, early on, yes. Let's just have a quick check. How was the blood test? How was the blood test? Are you coming? Check the heart, okay? It's alright. Huh? Lungs may not be alright. Is it panting? Is it coughing? She keep doing it. She keep doing it. Now this dog is, is a bit on the back side. Yeah. What what food does 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 does, does he eat? This a meal. It's on the fat side. Does he eat a lot of hamburgers and no. uh, sausages? Sure he does. Signature, mm -hmm. so okay. Yeah. He can reduce the weight. But anyway, uh, to solve this problem, the tooth has to come out. Uh. I mean, that is the solution. Okay. The behind one, the one, the three roots. Ah, the the, the big one, uh, mm -hmm. which I show you on the illustration. But you see, you can see it. Uh. This one, eh? this big one, eh? mm -hmm. yeah, this one. Yeah, to remove. No, yeah, to solve the problem, uh, of this. Okay. This one is the, the three roots are inside la. you can't okay. see but you can see one root here and one root here. Yeah. It's another root in the in the middle inside here. So there are three roots. La. So so that that is the solution la, I'm talking about. La. Then uh, for that that gum one I think uh, can be it can be removed la, but uh, not hundred percent. But uh, they will bring bring they will sh remove so that the canine tube la, can go and uh, tear the meat. La. But now it's being obstructed by the the tumor there. So you can't really. So maybe that's why he's very uh, unhappy. The one rubbing here, the pain is here. Mm. The pain, there's some pain here. But did you give painkillers? Mm. Huh? Mm. Don't seem much pain now. Uh, this side is painful. This side. Mm. Yeah, this is good. So put the e collar first. Put the e collar, and then we can give the painkillers. Then you decide what you want to do. Okay, did you finish?